So I had a um, one gig DDR2 stick of RAM left over from an upgrade. From a four gig upgrade. I've got another one of those somewhere. I had two one gigs, but couldn't find it right away. So I'll go ahead for right now, just put one of them in. This is that Acer laptop. So right here we've got two 256s. We'll just pull one of them out. It won't run in dual channel, but it's fine. I'll give this 1.25 gig of RAM. Just push it in, push it down until it locks in place. This one over here is not one to lock. It may not be seated all the way. There it goes. So they're both locked in place. Put the lid. Cover back down. I don't know what this, this laptop probably maxes out at 2 gig. Flip it back over. Now some of them, the memory's under the keyboard. This one was easy. I've got a M1210 um, Dell XPS M1210, and it's, um, if I remember right, one slot is on is underneath, and the other one is under the keyboard. We got a Pentium M 1.73 gigahertz. Memory, 1.2 or 1,270 megabytes, so 1.27 gigabytes of memory. A lot better than 512. Uh, 128 megabytes of video memory. Yeah, it's uh, shared memory. All right, let's check the boot sequence. All right, well, that's it.